The real money from starring in successful comic book blockbusters doesn't come from salaries. Although we're hardly talking pennies in that department, but rather the percentage points and profit participation clauses that see the stars pick up plenty of additional income dependent on box office performance. Amber Heard the highest paid actress in Hollywood? For example, Robert Downey Jr. was paid $20 million up front for Avengers Endgame, but he was also entitled to 8% of the back-end profits which netted him a tidy $55 million extra when the conclusion to the Infinity Saga became the highest grossing movie in the history of cinema. While co-stars Chris Evans and Chris Hemsworth banked at least $25 million apiece on top of their standard fees as well. The point is, it's hard to gauge how much somebody starring in a comic book extravaganza will ultimately go home with until the financial dust has settled, but that hasn't stopped insider Daniel Richtman from claiming that Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom will make Amber Heard one of the highest paid actresses in Hollywood. Although he obviously doesn't go to the lengths of giving any details as to how exactly she'll accomplish this feat. Heard is said to have pocketed at least $5 million up front for the first installment, which could have potentially doubled if not more after Aquaman hauled in over $1.1 billion globally. Hypothetically though, to become one of the most financially well-rewarded talents in the industry, she would need to end up somewhere in the ballpark of $15 to $20 million looking at the list of highest paid actresses from the last couple of years. With the major difference being that the regular names to make those sort of salaries tend to play several significant leading roles, something the DCEU's Mara hasn't exactly been doing too often as of late. A new rumor has suggested that despite petitions and protests against the actress for her personal battle with Johnny Depp, Warner Bros. are about to offer her a substantial new contract. When James Wan dropped the official title for Aquaman 2, it was quickly overshadowed by renewed calls for the dismissal of star Amber Heard by those still not happy with her personal domestic abuse allegations against ex-husband Johnny Depp. With an online petition of over 1.85 million signatures demanding Heard be axed from the sequel, you would think that Warner Bros. may be swayed by public opinion. After all, it worked, supposedly, when it came to forcing the company to release Zack Snyder's Justice League. But if a new whisper in the industry is to be believed, then not only do Warner Bros. not care, but they are about to do something that will infuriate Herd's haters even more. According to news reported by Hollywood Infograbber, Daniel Richtman, Heard is not only going to appear in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, but is also on the verge of signing a deal with Warner Bros. that will make her one of the highest paid female actors in the industry. The deal will reportedly be a huge step forward for Heard, whose future career has looked uncertain in recent months, and would no doubt be a huge blow to those calling for her to be dropped from future projects. The petition to get Heard fired from Aquaman 2 was instigated months ago by Gianne Larson, who alleged in the justification included in the petition that Heard is a known and proven domestic abuser, who is also known for lying about the situation between herself and the Pirates of the Caribbean star. Larson is a devoted supporter of Depp's side of the case, and uses quotes and various other pieces of information from Depp's libel case that he brought against the UK newspaper The Sun, which is part of Rupert Murdoch's empire. Although it was ruled back in November that the claim against Depp as a wife beater was substantially true, which makes the basis of the petition more a case of personal preference than outright fact-based document. It is not hard to see why it has been relatively ignored by Warner Bros so far considering what it is asking of them. With the constant noise on social media, Warner Bros have clearly no intention of dropping Heard from her prominent role in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, which given the success of the first movie, they would not be quick to make any changes to the cast that were not done without a lot of consideration that they seem to have done and decided to continue on with as it is. With news that they are now apparently doubling down on Heard by giving her a financially huge package, it sounds as if they are just hoping that the fans of Depp campaigning against her get bored and run out of steam sometime soon. 
Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom has seen no official plot details revealed, but Jason Momoa will return as a titular aquatic hero, with Amber Heard reprising her role as Mera. Also back are Patrick Wilson, Willem Dafoe, Nicole Kidman, and Dolph Lundgren. The movie is scheduled to arrive in cinemas in December 2022, but which time Warner Bros will be hoping that the petitions and talks of boycotting the Aquaman sequel are just a thing of the past. Amber Heard has been welcomed back to Atlantis by director James Wan for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. A direct sequel to 2018's Aquaman, the movie will bring back Heard as Mera alongside Jason Momoa as the titular superhero. As the upcoming sequel nears production, Heard has been consequently posting updates on social media, teasing a return to the role despite continued controversy over her casting. Amber Heard posted a new image to Instagram revealing a nice card she'd gotten from the Aquaman 2 production team. In the caption, Heard says that she's in quarantine, including a mermaid emoji for effect. The attached handwritten note, which appears to have been included with some flowers, reads, Amber, welcome back to Atlantis. Love, James and Rob. In other posts on Instagram, Heard has revealed that she's been going through her physical training in preparation for her return as Mera. She's also posted a picture of herself with Momoa while noting that she was ready to get back to this. Recently, her co-star Yahya Abdul-Mateen II also got in on the fun by posting an image of himself going through what appeared to be the Aquaman 2 screenplay. Heard beginning her quarantine with James Wan welcoming her back for Aquaman 2 means that the popular petition for the actress to be fired from the project has ultimately failed. Leading up to the production, more than 1.8 million names had been added to an online petition demanding Warner Bros. recast the role of Mera with someone else. Last year, Heard dismissed the petition while adding that she couldn't wait to start production on the sequel. Paid rumors and paid campaigns on social media don't dictate casting decisions because they have no basis in reality. The Mera actress told Entertainment Weekly in November. Only the fans actually made Aquaman and Aquaman 2 happen. I'm excited to get started next year. Jason Momoa had also been so excited to return to Aquaman that he even got involved with the screenplay. During an appearance on the Drew Barrymore show, Momoa explained how he was so invested in the sequel's story that he contributed to the writing process. He also said how the plan was for the movie to be shot in July, coinciding with Heard beginning her quarantine process heading into late June.